Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trailmakers video. You join me here in Trailmakers on version 1.8 Early Access because we're going to be checking out one of the new features coming to Trailmakers announced by the devs. And that is the new rework to the camera. So if you play PC Trailmakers, you should be aware that if you press F5, you go into a free cam mode, which you can move around with your arrow keys. But with this revamp, they have completely reworked the camera, so we have a lot more freedom on how we can use it. If I press F5 here, you can see that we have all these instructions on the side of the uh, the screen here, which is all the controls on how to use this new camera. Now, there are a bunch of options here, including depth of field, camera movement, camera position, input, and other things too, which is awesome. Now, I must admit, it's a little tricky to get used to. I'm still figuring out the controls myself. But what's awesome about this new feature is that it's not just exclusive to PC users. You'll be actually able to activate this using LB and RB on a controller. So once you're in the camera mode, to move the camera around, you use I, J, K, and L on the keyboard. And the arrow keys will rotate the camera around like this. You'll also be able to rotate the camera on a tilt axis using Q and E, just like this which can make for some very interesting shots. There's also a bunch of values on the screen that you can adjust by holding Y and H respectively. So if I hold F and then use the Y value, I can increase the speed of the camera. So this just allows for some like awesome creativity and freedom when using this cinematic feature. But I think the coolest and most important feature of this new cinematic camera rework is the fact that we are able to pause time. By pressing tab, you can completely pause time and you can get all the cool shots you want. I'm gonna see if I can try and pause time whilst flying past. There we go. So I think this is great, not just for like making videos and stuff and recordings, but you know, taking pictures as well. If you wanna take some fancy screenshots, this is definitely a good way to do so. With that, we have the option to hide the display too. So if I hold Z and W, then we can turn off that whole display. Now, pausing time will only be limited to single player. Obviously, if you're in a multiplayer match, you're not going to be able to pause everybody's game. But I also believe you can pause projectiles and stuff. Right, there we go. Nice. Like, look how cinematic that is. <laughs> To be able to see where the bullets are heading, I think that's awesome. If you look closely at the camera position setting, there is a look at player feature. So you'll be able to use the camera to automatically lock onto a player. So if I press T, it should stay locked onto my uh, character here. Now I move the camera around. Yeah, so it's always going to face where my character is. And if I get in the air, The camera moves with me. And that feature alone is going to be great for uh, making videos if you're trying to make your own content, guys. And also just like if you're spectating your friends, it's definitely going to help keeping up with like dogfights. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the new camera rework. I really, really like it. It's such a cool update for sure. Definitely for me personally, when you're making content, having a lot more freedom with uh, a camera setting and pausing time will just be great for content in general. Although, I do believe that this is the only thing revealed for 1.8 from the devs, but apparently there is three major things happening in 1.8, and obviously one of them is this camera. So we're technically announcing 1.8 today, but we're only announcing one of the three, of the three features. Which is the camera. Yeah. So we're not touching upon anything else. So there are two more things that they're going to be adding to the update when 1.8 comes out. And I don't really know what it's going to be. I do have one clue, though. If you pay attention to the dev streams like me, you would have heard the devs discussing something about if you like boats or submarines, you're going to like the next update. Both of the next things we're going to show is, is really... Uh really cool but i know especially one of them i think people are gonna go pretty nuts for especially if you like uh, boats and submarines and stuff like that yeah. look, look. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe there's some kind of new blocks being added there's well there's definitely gonna be new blocks but something to do with submarines and also another clue was they started making siren sounds on the streams so it's not themed in that sense right uh, we have a theme for the DLC. We have a theme for the DLC, yeah. yes. But the update is not themed. Uh, 
And I guess if you had to get a blub blub hint for the DLC. Are you asking me? I have something in mind. Okay. It'd be something like wee wee wee. I thought that was wee 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 wee. That's the hint you're getting for, uh, for the DLC. So we could be getting some kind of. that. To me, that's like. A police vehicle, you know, like police blocks or rest, search and rescue. Who knows? Well, I hope you guys are excited for 1.8. I'll be sure to keep you updated if I have any more news that I'm allowed to say. But yeah, comment down below your predictions for 1.8. And there's talks of a DLC. But anyway, guys, if you like these early access reviews and update leaks that I talk about on the channel, definitely subscribe. It's free as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.